Well, I decided to ride from east to west. Logistically, I wanted that train ride out of the way at the start, so I took the Amtrak from Sedale to Kirkwood, Ubered it up to St. Charles, and uh, got going. Spent the night at Knob Noster State Park and uh, drove on into Sedalia this morning. Made it with only two hours to spare. That was a little tight for me. Parked the truck over the Katy Trail Welcome Center. I think you can park it at the Amtrak station too, but that was a little unclear. Anyway, there were more cars over at the Welcome Center. It looked safer. So, train should be in in about 40 minutes here and we'll get on our way to St. Charles. Uber dropped me off here at St. Charles. Um, bike's about set. We'll get everything all ready to go here and uh, see what we can do. The river out here looks great. Unfortunately, there's a west wind. I didn't count on that. I thought Missouri, it won't be very windy here, but it's gonna be a little windy. So, off we go. Well, spent the night at Klondike Park. It was a pretty nice evening. Nice facilities. Shower with some hot water, though the, you had to coax the water out of it a little bit. And uh, overall, quiet. Um, $10 fee, a few other long-term bikers there, and they were quite friendly and gave some good advice. So we're gonna hit the trail. Today's goal is Tebbit uh, Hostel, where I can sleep inside, hopefully, and um, see what sights we see. Got to get breakfast in a bit here. All right, we're up on Saturday morning, 5th of October, riding. Haven't met anybody yet so far, but the trail is gorgeous as usual. Heading for Tibbets again tonight, and uh, maybe stop in Augusta and get some milk for breakfast. Beautiful, beautiful green tunnel. Got to McKittrick. Oh, nice ride. Um, quite a ways from the last trailhead. And it's starting to heat up a little bit. Gonna put some sunscreen on. Um, quite a few people out today. I'm over halfway for my day. And it's only 11 o'clock. I've got about 30 miles yet to Tebbit, where the hostel is, and a shower and cool down. About half of this has been in the sun, half of it's in sort of the green tunnel of trees. But it's uh, been pretty good, and I'll maybe get a little bite to eat here. Somebody left some, uh, some snacks if people are hungry. Uh, milk bone, I may have a couple of those. Let's see what we can do. Well, it hit 87 degrees. Sun's bearing down. I'm bucking a south wind. Uh, trail was pretty busy this morning. Boy, it's not busy in this heat been guzzling a lot of water. I've got uh, about four miles more to uh, Tibbetts where I'll stay at a hostel. I'm pretty worn out from the heat and, and the ride. It's been a good ride. Uh, 60, uh, about 63 miles so far today. So just a few more to go. But uh, the trail's pretty, except when it gets out just by soybeans. And I, I can go home and look at soybeans. But currently, I mean, as you can see, we're there was a stretch, it's a little wooded. It's pretty, not like the green tunnel I was in earlier. Here we go. Boy, I can't say enough about the Katy Trail Shelter. That was $10 well spent for a kitchenette, a mattress, air conditioning, shower. I'd stay there in a heartbeat. All right, on the trail, Sunday morning. Woke up at Tebbets uh, pretty early. I just stayed in bed for a while. Got some moderately good sleep. Wonderful little hostel of sorts there. Um, ended up a little dehydrated yesterday. Had a little trouble falling down and whatnot. So I had pushed the foods. I think I had a half gallon of, of different things. Some out of the old soda machine, uh, the power drink with the electrolytes. We'll see how today goes. Hopefully I'm supposed to get to 80. I've been bucking a southwest wind as I headed southwest along the river. Today I'll be going northwest 
and the wind is shifting to the northwest. So that'll be exciting. But, uh, trail's nice and cool this morning. Hardly anybody out so far. We'll see. Well, went to bed at about 72 degrees, woke up at 44 degrees. Uh, spent the night at the Katie Roundhouse campground. One other person there, Gary from St. Joseph. We uh, had a pretty quiet night apart from a fairly constant serenade of coyotes. Uh, you know, sun's out, it's gonna warm things up a little bit. Hopefully burn off some of this mist that's around here. But we got 49 miles to Sedalia. Um, should be a great day. Supposed to get up into the 70s today. It'll beat the stuff up higher in the 80s. It was, it was getting just a little bit hot. I think okay, that's where we're headed. Um, gonna get something to eat in Boonville. Have a good morning. Well, Boonville presented a little bit of a challenge. There was a guy with a bag full of his belongings and a mean dog on the path. It took me about 20 minutes of waiting for him to get off and then a great little diner right at the end of the bridge as I entered Boonville, but no place to park your bike where you could see it. And as a general rule, I do not park my bike where I can't see it. So we just rode through Boonville. Well, first flat tire of the trip with five miles to go. And it's not bad enough leak. I'm trying to just baby it in, filling it up every once in a while. That may get me in just today, oh yeah. Uh -huh. Nice enough people, everybody stops and wants to know if they can help. Nope. <laughs> just need to, probably need to take that tire off, get the tube out and just exchange it. But uh, with five miles to go, man, I can, do that in a much more comfortable spot. Five miles out of Sedalia. Well, that was about three days of riding. It was a pretty good ride. Um, if I did it again, I might try and figure out how to go west to east, but uh, the other way wasn't bad. That, that hill coming out of the Missouri River Valley was a little bit of a challenge, but the uh, in the end, the Katy Trail Visitor Center at Sedalia was a welcome sight, and no regrets. Great ride.